Okay, this is the spelling list. Grade two, unit two, week three. We're looking at words that have a long vowel sound followed by the s. First word we want to listen to is lace. Lace. We have a very nice place to work. What are the sounds? Lace, it's one syllable, one breath. Sounds are. So that would be. A, we use the letter A to say A. Lace. And we can use a C to say S. And we need an E. This E is doing two jobs. It's making the A say A, and it's making the C say S. Because C says S before E, I, or Y. So C will say S. Next word, trace. I will trace the drawing. One syllable, trace. You want to really think of it as a Race. Don't say ch race, but t race. So spell it with a t. R a, and I'm going to use the letter A to say A. Trace. Hear this? This is C again. And a silent E. The E is making the A say A, and it's making the C say C. Next word is ice. I like to put ice in my water. Ice, one syllable. The first sound is I. It's the letter I. Ice. C to six. And then I have an E. The E makes the I say I, and it makes the C say S. Next word is space. Space. I have space for things in my closet. Space. What's the sound you hear? A. Do you hear it? A. And I use the A to say A. Space. Oh, and again, I use a C to say S. And then I use an E. Make the A say A, and to make the C say S. Next word, mice. There are many mice out in the field. Mice. The sound. Mm -hmm. My eye. The I, I, I hear that S. I'm going to use a C to say S. And I need an E to make the I say I and to make the C say S. We're also going to look at words where we have a G that says J at the end. Now we have a rule. English words aren't allowed to end with a J. Just not allowed. So I'm gonna think of the word cage. Cage. Sounds are k a j. Oh, am I allowed to do that? No, I'm not allowed to end a word with a J. So can't do it. I have to use a G and an E. And in this case, the E is making the A say A and it's letting the G say J. So if, if I have a J sound right after a long vowel sound, the A, E, I, O, and U, I use a G, E.
or if I have the j sound after another consonant, remember any letter that's not a vowel is a consonant. If I have a j sound after any consonant sound, I have to use a G and an E. Let's listen to this word barge. A barge is a ship that a, a car can drive on or a barge can carry uh, other things across a river like trash or just containers. Barge, what are the sounds we hear? B, R, to spell R, I use an A, R, barge. Hear the j? Am I allowed to do that? Nope. Not allowed to put a j there. So I have to use a g and a e. We're not allowed to put a j at the end. Barge. And the g is saying j in front of the e. My next word is bulge. The bulge in the balloon, bulge, b, a, b, do you hear the a, uh? bulge, let's think, am I allowed to put a j to say j, nope, no j is allowed at the end, I have to use a g, e, because it's coming right after a consonant, See this consonant here and here? Yep, so I have to use a G-E. Let's look at another one. The word is badge. I will wear a badge. What are the sounds? B. Ba -a. I have the A. Badge. Uh Oh, uh, we have a oops, new rule. If it's after a single short vowel, see it's just one vowel and it's the same, the short sound, ah, uh, I'm not allowed a G-E, I'm not allowed a J, let's see, because I can't do that, nope, not allowed. Get rid of that. If I put a G E, oh, you know what? The E would hop over one letter to make the A say A. I don't want beige. Not what I want. I want badge. So after a short vowel, I use the D G E. So this, all these work together to say J after a single short vowel. Single short vowel. So we're gonna think of another word here. If I have the word, which ones did I have already badge? Okay, if I have the word range, let's listen to it. A, I'll use the A. Range. Am I coming after a single short vowel? Nope, I'm coming after a N. That's a consonant. I'm going to use the G E. Range. Did I get cage? Range. Badge. Badge was the only one after a single short vowel. Let's think of a couple of other words. Here's our bonus word. Huge. I have a huge problem. What are the sounds? You. Is that a short vowel or the name, the long vowel? You. That's the name, right? That's the long vowel. So I don't use a DGE. I have to use the G, huge, and the E makes the U say U, and it makes the G say J. We have a couple of bonus, more bonus words. The word is mule. Say the word mule. We did this last week. 
U, and I'm going to use the letter U to say U, mule, riddle, and then a silent E to make the U say U, mule. And I have the word out. I will go out. Listen to the sound here. Ow. And I use the O-U to say ow. Out. What says ow in this word? The O-U says ow. Good. Out. I have the word wash. What are the sounds we hear in wash? I hear a woo. Ah. Think about that. What do we use to spell ah after a w? Wa ah. We expect to use an o to say ah, right? But after a w, we use an a to say ah after a w. Wash. Use the sh to say sh. And I have other words where the a says ah. I have the word wall and water and want. A often is used to spell ah after a W or in front of an L. So in the word wash, I'm using the A to spell the ah sound. I have one more bonus word. Put it on this line here. The word is saw. I saw you. Spell with S. Ah. We have a few ways to spell the ah sound. In this word, we're going to use an A W. Spell ah. And we often use the A W to spell ah at the end of a word. Saw. I saw you. A-W is spelling the ah. Uh, I'm going to mark it. What color should we mark it? Because that's, that's the part we have to remember here in this word, that the A-W spells ah. Uh. Okay, let's take a look at our words and read them. Ready? We have the word place. A, E makes the A say A, and it makes the C say S. Trace. R A S and the E is making the A say A and the C say S. Ice, ice. E makes the I say I and it makes the C say S. Space, A S. E makes the A say A and it makes the C say. Then I have the word mice. Mm, ice. He makes the I say I and the C says. Let's look at all of these that have the j sound at the end. Hmm. What pattern do we see here? If we come after a long vowel sound like A, we use a G E. Or if we, this one here with the U, we use a G E. If we come after a consonant, which ones have the consonant here? We come after a consonant, like the R, see, we've got the AR saying R, so it's right after the consonant. We use the GE. Here's the L, we use the GE. Here's the N, we use the GE. And this one right over here, we use a D G E after a single short vowel. Okay, that's a lot of rules to look at. We use the G E after a long vowel. It says A E I O or U. We use the G E after a consonant, any letter that's not a vowel. We use the D G E after a single short vowel, like the word badge. And then in the other words we have here, mule, E makes the U say U. Out, we're using the O U to say ow. Wash, we're using the A to say ah after a W. 
and then saw. We're using the A-W to say ah at the end of a word.